everyone, so today's video is going to be my November favourites video. I have to think about that for a second. So it is officially December, it's December 2nd today and I am absolutely so excited. Summer started yesterday, which I can feel. I am so hot, like the weather has just skyrocketed. Really, really hot, but I'm excited. I love summer. I love summering nights. And as much as I want to have a white Christmas one year, I do love the fact that we get our Christmas in the summertime. So anyway, I don't know why I just gave that spiel about summer. Today I have a few beauty products to talk about. Some of them I feel like I'm kind of cheating because I haven't been using them for that long. But I discovered them in November and I've been using them like crazy ever since. So I'm going to mention them anyway, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys what I was loving in the month of November. So the first product is a skincare item, and I was sent this from Garnier. It is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water in Oil. So it's basically just a micellar water, but it has oil in it. So as you can see, this yellow part here is the oil. Um, you just shake it up before you use it, and it mixes it all together. And this cleanses my skin so nicely. It removes any like makeup or residue or anything on my skin. I mainly use it in the morning as like a refresher because I'm a nighttime showerer. Shower -er. I just use this in the morning to cleanse over my skin kind of thing. And I've just been loving it. It smells amazing. I absolutely love the smell of this. It's like really fresh and floral and yeah, I like it. But in saying that, if you have sensitive skin, I don't really know if this would be suitable because it does have such a high fragrance. But it does say that it has optimal tolerance. So I'm assuming that that means most people can tolerate it. I don't know. But anyway, I've just been using this like crazy ever since I got it. I ran out of my Bioderma and I do love my Bioderma, but I feel like this is almost just as good... I don't think it's as good, but it is pretty high up there and it's a lot more affordable so I have not repurchased Bioderma yet. I've just been using this one and absolutely loving it. The next item is also a skincare item. Um, I was sent this also from Mecca for like a birthday gift um, because I don't know when you're a member of the Mecca Beauty Loop. Sorry if you can hear the plane. So if you're a member of the Mecca Beauty Loop, they basically send you a birthday gift every year, I think. Um, so I got this Hands of Hands On Transforming Cream, Mecca Cosmetica, restores and rejuvenates cashmere feel with the Mecca Elixir. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really sleek and pretty. I really like all the Mecca packaging. Um, and for those of you overseas who don't know what Mecca is, it's essentially like a Sephora or Ulta, I guess. Um, it's basically all high-end makeup and beauty products. I guess that's the easiest way to describe it. This smells incredible. It's so nice and like it's a deep kind of scent, but I don't know, I just really like it for a hand cream. It feels luxurious, it's nice and thick and moisturizing. Um, I've been carrying this around with my with me in my handbag because my hands lately have just been so so dry I don't know what it is they're really quite orange at the moment because I fake tan last night and went a little bit ham on my hands by accident but yeah I've just been loving this carrying it around with me everywhere and using it like non-stop so nice. The next favourite is a makeup product and it's a little bit of a cheap product and it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have the shade O2 Natural. This is what the packaging looks like. It is absolutely beautiful packaging. Like I cannot rate this packaging any higher. It's a glass bottle. It has a pump. Um, It's got like an ombre black lid and it's kind of ombre here and it fades out to be the actual foundation, like a clear glass. I am loving this. It is very, very full coverage, which is what I like personally. It lasts really well on the skin. It grows a little bit patchy at the end of the day, but that's in, you know, like after nearly 10 hours wear for me, 
which I think is amazing because a lot of people don't wear their foundation for that long but I do when I'm at work like I do quite long shifts so yes I have been wearing this a lot ever since I tried it I actually tried this for the first time in one of my last videos which was the chatty get ready with me um, and you guys can see my you know first impression and reaction there so I do need to be fake tanned when I wear this because even though it's only the shade 02 it's one of the lighter ones it is still quite dark and I do need to be quite tanned to wear it but I have been loving it the formula is on point everything about it is really really on point for the price you could pass this as a high-end foundation for sure I've got another skin product this is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio camouflaging concealer so I've been dying to try this for ages and I just had never picked it up finally got it and I'm in love with it I've used it so 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 much I used it today to conceal my under eyes and down the center of my face conceals my eye bags really really well um, I have the shade light there is a shade medium I believe so they unfortunately don't have a darker shade than that on which they should bring one out because it's an awesome concealer I've been using it like crazy it's very very like full coverage and kind of thick I know it's kind of thick but it's still quite creamy and liquidy and yeah I've been using it really a lot a lot a lot because I've run out of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer which is probably my all-time favorite but this has you know come up close close to that one I'm really really loving it and it's super affordable because it's from the drugstore another Maybelline product actually that I've been loving is the vivid matte liquid lipsticks so I have the whole range I was gifted those because Maybelline is the best and they send me stuff sometimes um, this is one of my favorite colors it's a nude shade it's in the color oh are you serious I actually have no idea what this color is because I've taken off the tag that was holding the lid to the bottle and I guess that's what had the color name on it oh that's really annoying. They sh the name should be at the bottom, I feel like. I'll try and find what colour this is and list it down below. But yeah, I've been loving this whole entire colour range. All the colours that I've tried so far, um, the formula is the same in every colour. Like, the darker colours aren't patchy or anything. I just don't agree with the fact that they are called matte liquids. They're not matte. Um, I really honestly don't find them matte at all they stay glossy on my lips like not super glossy um like today I've got a fairly glossy lip on they're a little bit more toned down than this I just don't know why they're called a matte liquid lip when they're not matte but apart from that I really really like the formula and the pigmentation is really really good and all of that so yeah I'm quite happy with them so my last favorite I think everyone who watched my get ready with me first impressions video could see coming it is my Inglot palette that I made at iMats so I have shown you guys like most of oh, actually I haven't shown you guys most of what I got um, I basically got three blushes a matte highlight a contour bronzer and two shimmery highlights they are like crazily crazily pigmented I don't know if you can see on those three fingers but they are insanely pigmented I know I haven't been using these for very long but I had to mention them because I have just been using them like crazy ever since I did get them so oh my god does ever anyone else have these off the shoulder tops and just get so annoyed by them they look so pretty but they are so annoying but yeah, I definitely had to mention this one. I do still have the video coming where I'm going to basically show you how I built the palette um, and explain how they work and just give a full review and all of that kind of thing, I guess. Um, so that video is still coming. If you guys are interested, just keep watching on my channel for it. But that is everything for my November favorites. I didn't have too much stuff, but that's how it is when you have a busy month. 
November we moved, which was crazy, so there was a lot of the time I wasn't even wearing makeup. But that's everything that I had to show you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you're...